Jar Shaka is one of the UK's dub pioneers. He's produced, played live, and run one of the heaviest and most popular sound systems in the land for some 25 years. We caught up with Shaka and collaborator and dub genius in his own right, the mad professor of Ariwa Sounds, during a session filmed for Snub. I started at the end of the 70s, you know, and I was drawn to the music by lots of um, dub, the political awareness of the music, like the Back to Africa process, and the positiveness in the music that was not only opening towards black people, but to everyone, all human beings. And also the strong melodies, you know, that you could get the energies from the music. And um, I hook up with Shaka at the turn of the decade, just as I was building the studio. The music Shaka has been dealing with over the years, um, some people that go to church would consider it like gospel music also. It's not being played on a commercial level, it's being played religiously and with devo devotion and earnest. The music is also visual, it's not only what you hear. There's also something that you can see out of the music. So um, we, we try to add that visual content and give people glimpses of certain things through the music. You know, these days you hear a lot of dub influences in things like hip hop and even soul and pop records, you know. But the foundation is very much firmly in the reggae field. A lot of people might be using shop built equipment, but um, the equipment what we um, personally use with sound system is of the old type, so you get the old sound also within it. It's not uh, the new digital stuff, so it's completely different. What we really work on more than anything is the frequency of the, the, the roll-off and the dBs, but it can go down to many sound systems play very loud bass, but we would like to play very deep that people can still stand in front of your speakers, but it doesn't hurt that much, although there's a, the vibration is there. People do respond to that bottom frequency, you know, especially if you're dealing with rebel music. You know, people have to feel it. got an effect of shifting your moods, you know. You could be sad and you hear certain dubs and it just make you change, you know, and you just feel strength, strength from within, you know. It's, you know, it's a very conquering sort of music, you know, and it just draws you in.
shall be of Jehovah. My song shall be of the Father. Cause Jah is my light and my salvation. My song shall be of Jehovah. My song shall be. 